Hey there, Brian here for a quick uh, quick tutorial in RenderMan for Blender. Today we're going to be talking about portals. Um, portals are a special light that is useful for things like um, light coming in through a window. So, for example, here we have a scene where um, we're inside this kitchen here, and we are using an environment light, um, sort of a big bright white around the uh, around the room here. And if we actually go outside here, we can see this is the outside of the room, and there's there's an environment light here. But all the wind, all the light that we're going to see is coming through these these um, windows in the scene. So what we want to do is focus the light coming through the windows, and what we're going to use is portals for that. Um, but first, we're going to switch to a simpler scene just to sort of show it better um, what's going on. All right, so simple scene here, and. Um, what we have is a is a render like this, um, and we just again are using an environment light that is uh, shining around the whole scene here. And this is our this is our environment light we got. Um, so to create portals, all you have to do is go in and um, create a lamp. So I'm just going to add a lamp here, and you can make an area lamp, whatever you want to call it, um, and then uh, switch it using the RenderMan. Uh, light types to a portal lamp and let's just move this over so we can see it better and it kind of looks like an area lamp um, which is kind of it, it has the same shape as an area lamp um, but what we want to do is rotate it let's just rotate it 90 degrees uh, in the x-axis here we'll just kind of um, uh, let's just point it something like this Okay, that's fine. We'll put it over here and we'll make it a little bigger too. Um, okay, so now we have a portal lamp and what you have to do with the with the portal, I'll just rename it to portal so I can keep them straight. Um, what you have to do is you actually have to put it in the outliner um, parented underneath the environment light that you want to use. Um, so uh, what that will do is basically tell the environment light, hey, instead of doing this big light in, around the whole scene, only stream it through the, uh, the portals that are attached to it. Okay, so we're going to hit render here and see what happens. Okay, so we get the light just coming through this one little portal. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to make the render a lot cleaner um, and focus all of the samples from the light rather than rather than going all all around the scene, it's going to focus them all through that that portal. Okay, so this is kind of a silly example. You probably wouldn't use it in a in a scene like this, but if we go back to our kitchen scene, um, we can see very quickly where we want to use that. We want to put the portals um, around the couple of windows here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, zoom in here, and now I'll create a uh, lamp and uh, rotate it uh, 90 degrees in Y. All right, now I'm back and um, oh, I have to make it a portal here. Okay, let's take a look here. Our rotations are off. Uh, where are we here? Uh, uh, okay, so we wanna do 90 here and negative 90 okay and now what we're going to do is just try to line them up with the windows I'm just going to do this quick and dirty here um, let's see here we go um, basically the better the closer you can get this to the size of the window the better results you have um, and we'll go over here and move it in closer to the window. Now take a look at that. All right, that's good enough for me. And I'm going to duplicate it and put one over here. And let's see, rotate this uh, 90 degrees in Z, negative 90 in Z. There we go. Okay, now let's move this and, and scale it to the right size. Close enough. Make sure it's lined up. All right, that looks good. Now what we have to do is go and look at our outliner. Um, 
let's just pull up the outliner really quickly here. Um, so we have our two our two lights. We're just gonna put them underneath the the daylight, which is doing the the hemi light that's around the whole scene. Now let's just take a look at that. Okay, so let's just make this you know, just slightly blue or something like that. Um, the other cool thing you can do with the portal lights is if you want to um, multi, you can do a multiplier on the intensity and do a tint on on the color sort of thing. So if I make one of them more green, it should show up in the render. Let's just go hit render here. Um, so that's basically that's basically all there is for portal lights. The um, the simple steps are making the portal light, um, turning it uh, turning it to the portal type, and um, placing it in your scene where you want to have the light shine through, and then also um, uh, parenting it in the outliner underneath the um, underneath the actual environment light they have. Now. Um, so here we have our scene, the light coming through the two um, the two uh, windows here. You can notice there's a little bit of black right here. That's because I didn't quite make the um, the portal big enough to cover the whole window. So obviously it's cutting off where the portal isn't covering. But anyway, so that's about it with portal lights. You'll notice I've been using this um, kitchen scene here and kind of a fun um, thing to play around with. On the uh, renderman.pixar.com, um, if you go into our forums, we have a challenge, a lighting challenge for doing um, doing lighting with this kitchen scene, which is kind of fun. Um, and there's also some really cool um, uh, some really cool examples that other people are doing. And there's also prizes for whoever can do um, what what we judge to be the uh, the best example of lighting with this. Uh, with this scene, and there's an example of the scene up there for uh, Blender's users. But anyway, so so you win a iPad, uh, signed copies of Ed Catmull's book, um, and some other stuff. So anyway, that's about it for portals. Um, I'm going to do another uh, tutorial pretty soon about um, about layered materials, and then hopefully have some other stuff coming up pretty soon as well. So um, thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions for um, videos you want me to do, please post them in the uh, comments below. Okay, thanks. Bye.